if you're watching this video that means we have 1000 subscribers so what else is there to do but to paint a surfboard and just painting a surfboard of course is way too easy so we're going to do it within 1000 minutes <laughs> Hey what's up people, this is Dark Creates. my name is Joshua Dow and I'm an artist and yeah like I said we had 1000 subscribers you have heard the spiel of like millions and millions and millions of times of uh, different YouTubers thanking you for uh, different amounts of subscribers so I'm not going to dwell on it for ages but just thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and no I am forever grateful. Alright without any further ado let's get into the gist of this video. So this is my brother's surfboat and he likes it a lot but he thinks it could look a little bit cooler so he gave it to me to paint. And that's what I'm going to do, but like I said, in the span of 1,000 minutes. So how much exactly is 1,000 minutes? How much time do we have? So it is 16.6667 uh, hours, which is pretty exactly 16 hours and 40 minutes. So that's how much time we have to, to paint this entire surfboard, the process from start to finish, which doesn't just mean putting the paint onto this actual thing, but uh, thinking of an idea on what to do, designing the idea in Procreate, then sanding off the board, putting the actual paint onto the surfboard, spraying it with finish, letting it dry. No, actually, we're going to exclude the letting it dry part from the process. Uh, that can be done after those 16 hours and 40 minutes, but everything else will be in those 16 hours and 40 minutes. Tomorrow, I'm going to get up very early and work on this all day, and I'm going to take you along for the ride. So yeah, let's get into it. Good morning, it is now 7 a.m. The next morning I've just woken up and uh, 16 hours and 40 minutes, so the thousand minutes in which I'm going to paint this surfboard I have officially begun. The first step that I'm going to do is uh, sit down and come up with a design to put onto the surfboard. Alright, let's do it. The design that I ended up with turned out to be something looking a little bit more graphic-y because I think, and my brother agrees, is that that is what usually looks coolest on uh, something like a surfboard and that. But I also added in a couple of figures in there so it was actually fun to paint that for me who is more inclined to draw something like figures and people and characters. So as we're waiting for my brother to wake up and approve this design, uh, what we can do is tape off this surfboard and sand it so it's ready for when we want to start painting. Let's do it. So now it's already 10 to 11. I spend quite a lot of time of course sanding the board and then unfortunately also trying to find the paintbrushes which is something I could have dealt with yesterday but I don't really work with foresight. But never mind we're ready to paint now so let's get into the first layer. been drizzling raining off and on and we had to move the board into the shed to dry and that even wasn't enough because it's just uh, too humid um, so I had to uh, dry it with a blow dryer. I'm hoping to still be working out here for a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is sand it down again, add the second coat of blue and then hopefully after that dries we'll be able to start with the actual illustration. <laughs> coat number three, let's hope this is the last one. We have now relocated into the shed totally because the weather outside is just not um, a factor that I want to have to worry about. Anyway, it's 4 o'clock now, that means we are 9 hours into the 16 hours and 40 minutes that we have, into the 1000 minutes. I took a lunch break and then also just rearranging the shed and, and creating the lighting that works and stuff like that just took some time. But now we are ready to move on to the next part, the most fun part, the actual part of putting the actual design onto the surfboard. And there's a couple of techniques that I could use, like I used in my painting guitar video which is right here if you want to watch that uh, in which I printed out the design the digital design and uh, use graphite on the back side of the sheet to put it onto the uh, guitar and then the other technique that I used in my painting a skateboard video which you can find here as well is using a doodle grid which could work but I am thinking that I am just going to attempt to uh, sketch this onto the surfboard directly and see if it works because it's gonna look different anyway it's gonna look more organic on the on the surfboard anyway way um, because uh, it's gonna be done by hand and stuff so I think I'm just gonna sketch it with chalk and uh, yeah we'll see where that goes 
Putting down the sketch freehand worked out extremely well. I was very pleasantly surprised by how well it worked. I was expecting to use like a masking tape or something to measure the distance of the gap between the lines and that, but I didn't even need that. It just kind of worked out. I got them down quite parallel, and from there I was able to go on to uh, sketch out the waves, which was uh, very organic, and chalk is a very easy uh, medium to work with to erase and, and draw back in and that. So um, yeah, a really smooth process and it worked out really well. The figures were a little bit harder to get in with the chalk as they have smaller details and chalk isn't a very like fine line um, medium to use, uh, but I managed it anyway. And with that, I was able to go on to the next step, which was the, uh, I'm gonna call it inking now, even though it's not inking because it's not ink, it's paint, but into the line art stage, let's just call it that, which was with white paint. That first coat of white paint, those first lines with white paint, were really just to get roughly in what I had just sketched out, so I didn't uh, care too much if they were off a little bit or anything like that, or if they were completely solid, I just roughly wanted to copy what I had first. I first copied the figures, the surface, because I wanted to have them in place before I went in to draw the waves, obviously, so the waves would not cover them up by accident or something like that. So uh, yeah, that's exactly what I did, and then I just kind of followed the lines. I did a little bit of adjusting here and there of my sketch, but really, uh, it went quite smoothly. surfboard still kind of looks just like a blackboard in some like uh, middle school class or something uh, with all the chalk underneath the acrylic so I'm gonna wipe that away now With the chalk out of the way, it was starting to come together way, way more. It looked a lot clearer, a lot less dirty, and I got uh, a lot more confidence in myself. So all there was to do really was to go over the lines that I had drawn before or painted before. Again, fill them out more where I had, where I had left uh, free space or where the line wasn't going through fully the way I wanted it to. Um, add a few details in the surface. Um, yeah, just kind of fix it up in the places that it needed fixing up in, and that was essentially it. Except for one little detail that I decided to add in later, which you will see in a little bit. When I was done with all the details and all the white paint, I just felt like there was just something missing. It was, even though I was going for a simplistic style, there was just something that this painting still needed. So I decided to go in with a little bit of a darker blue and just paint in some shadows just under the surface. And I think it really made the piece. A quick update. I'm not filming this by the way uh, with my microphone but just with the audio from the camera. I apologize but that is because um, there's actually been hornets with me in the shed this whole time and they're getting more and more and one was sitting on me so I, uh, I just left the microphone in there for now. Anyway so we are done with the painting. Yay! I'm so excited. It is now currently I think pretty much 11 o'clock which leaves me with 40 more minutes to um, finalize this and that is plenty of time to uh, let it dry and give it a coat of finish and then let it dry overnight, let that dry overnight and then we are done, alright. Would you look at that? So it is 11. 30 now, which leaves us with exactly 10 minutes to spare in our 16 
hours and 40 minutes, so in a thousand minutes of working on this. The board is sprayed, I'm going to put it into the shed uh, to dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll show you the final result. It is now the next day and the board is finished, the finish has dried and yeah, it's all ready to go on its surf trip tomorrow with my brother. I'm very excited for how that goes and I'm also very excited to show the final result to you. But first of all, thank you once again for the thousand subscribers, it's just insane and uh, not anything I would have ever expected when starting this YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like if you have not subscribed yet and want to be the thousand and first subscriber, then make sure to subscribe now. And yeah, leave a comment about what you thought about this video and everything yeah 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 let's go you can see it Hey, this is just me editing the video from the future. I filmed this back when I was still in Germany and they had the opportunity to paint the surfboard. But at that point, I didn't have the thousand subscribers yet. Now that I'm actually at this point, I just want to take another moment just to thank you guys once again. Uh, each and every single one of you have contributed to this uh, milestone, reaching this milestone, and even though it's not a lot compared to a lot of other people. It does like mean a whole lot to me and uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now <laughs> that I've reached this milestone because it's been like the reason uh, for me to like keep doing these videos, these videos. So yeah, I'm gonna see what's gonna happen next in the future, what's to come. And um, yeah, just once again, thank you. Um, I hope you'll continue sticking around for the ride. I'm excited for the future. Um, excited to have you there. And um, yeah, for now you can click here to subscribe to my channel, find a video you might like right here and a playlist you might like right here. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you in the next video and really appreciate you being here. <laughs>